This Beyond Lynn Sanity interview is brought to you by Sugarland Town Square. Shopping, dining, and fun for the whole family. Enjoy live events, plus watch your favorite team at one of our many restaurants and bars. Located 59 South at Highway 6. Visit SugarlandTownSquare.com. You know, one thing I noticed at the foundation was your piano skills. And, you know, in the day of the life of video, you're saying this is your first year playing piano, but you're like really good at it. So are you on like a ramped up uh, program or something or what? Um, no. Uh, <laughs> so like I would just learn. I only know a couple songs and like I don't really know how to read piano music. So I went on YouTube and I saw people play it and then I just memorized like which keys to hit. Um, and when to hit them and then I just kind of played around with it and, and spent some time with it and and, uh, and then I memorized it and so uh, you know I might look better it might I might look better than I actually am like if you gave me a simpler song and told me to try to play it unless I memorized it I wouldn't be able to read it or, or play it at all how about your Chinese how well can you speak it right now how much are you working to improve it um, yeah I mean I have uh, some Chinese conversations during the season. I don't have as many, but um, I've been trying to keep in touch with some of my friends from overseas and and just you know just speak regularly. Um, what just pre like through uh, you know text message, but an audio message. Um, so we have a little app that allowed me to communicate with uh, my friends overseas, and and I see them every summer when I go over there. And and so you know I told them you know just speak Chinese to me. I'll speak Chinese back to you. Don't make fun of me, and I'll work on it. So the Rockets' upcoming trip to the Philippines and Taiwan, how much does that serve as motivation for you to, yo, I need to improve that Chinese for that trip? No, I mean, we, I go back every summer, so I already have enough motivation. I got to get a lot better at it. <laughs> oh, you go back a lot then. But how about like childhood memories of like Taiwan? Like, whenever you go back to Taiwan, what do you have to do when you go there? I got to get that food. I eat that food. Um, and I need to go to the night market. And uh, last year things were a little too crazy, so I didn't get a chance to go. Um, it was a busy time out there, but this year I got to find a way to get to the night market. That's my favorite favorite thing. Any specific dishes in Taiwan that kind of are your favorite? Everything, everything from like you know the night market food to and it usually just like. Um, the little dishes, you know, um, the Dian Xing is like, is really, really good. You just go out there and uh, order a bunch of small little things and eat them family style. Yeah, I pig out over there. Well, I tell you what, I think all of Red Nation, you know, I speak on behalf of all of them when I say that we hope that this is only the beginning. So, Jeremy, thank you so much for sitting down with us. I appreciate it. Thank you.